Today's outcrop of the day is this beautiful little waterfall. I've been mapping here for about a week with young Finn Rear here, and we've been trying to sort out all the alteration, intrusive phases, and weathering on top of that. And we've been struggling a bit because it's pretty complicated. But this outcrop here unscrambled almost all of it in a single outcrop. And since Finn's been doing pretty good, I'll let him tell the story. This is a fantastic exposure of polymictic breccia, which is cross-cut by a series of dikes, the first of which is running up in this direction. This is a rhyolite dike with a granular ground mass. The second dike then cross-cuts both the first dike and the polymictic breccia and runs off in this direction. This is a porphyritic rhyolite. This is a particularly important outcrop because it gives us timing relationships on the breccia, the granular rhyolite and the porphyritic rhyolite. And on top of all of this, there's two other phases of intrusions which occur as fragments within this polymictic breccia. Here's a fragment of porphyritic dacite which we've seen elsewhere as outcrops. This time it's a clast in the polymictic breccia. Here's a beautiful fragment of flow banded rhyolite which we've also seen elsewhere in outcrop. And here it is as a clast in our breccia. Now we know the flow banded rhyolite must be older than the breccia. This outcrop's unlocked four or five different timing relationships for us in the rocks that we've been mapping over the last week. And a few days ago, Nick and I had lunch up on this outcrop right here and completely missed this. So I guess the moral is that even though you've been somewhere once, it doesn't mean you've seen all there is to see.